Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. Then you have something called addition reaction. Please note this happens only with the unsaturated hydrocarbons. Only unsaturated hydrocarbons goes for addition reaction. Logic is very simple because if you have some unsaturated thing, right? Then only for example, this one you have option of adding more hy hydrogen or chlorine. For example, in this, you add more hydrogens, you get this guy. Right? So you have ethene, this becomes ethene. You add more hydrogen. You add chlorine also, you can add chlorine also. So the addition reaction happens only for unsaturated hydrocarbons. Right? So you can add chlorine, hydrogen, bromine, iodine, in any of these you can add. Correct? For example, you have this uh, Ethene, you add this hydrogen in presence of nickel and heat, you get ethane. Correct? This example of addition reaction, you have ethene, you add hydrogen in presence of nickel and heat, you get ethene. And addition of hydrogen to uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon to obtain a saturated hydrocarbon is called hydrogen. Because as I told, you can add hydrogen, chlorine, bromine, anything, but if you add hydrogen to get from unsaturated to saturated right this process is called hydrogenation if you are adding hydrogen if you are adding hydrogen then this process is called hydrogenation for example this process is used to get vegetable ghee from vegetable oil this is my vegetable oil it is unsaturated in presence of nickel and uh, the act as catalyst you add hydrogen and you get this is ghee and that is saturated so this process is called hydrogenation where you add hydrogen to unsaturated hydrocarbons and when industry uses to get ghee from oil, correct. And the same principle is used to test unsaturated hydrocarbon also there is something called bromine water test. Bromine water is red in color due to presence of bromine in it. Now, you have this bromine order, you add this to unsaturated hydrocarbon. What happens is you get saturated hydrocarbons because this reaction happened, this addition reaction happened, right? But with this, this bromine water chlorine concentration will decrease, correct? Because the chlorine is used now in this hydrocarbon. See, unsaturated hydrocarbon, for example, I had this CH2, CH2, the double bond. I add this uh, bromine water, so let's suppose Br2, this becomes. CH2Br single bond CH2Br. So now I am getting saturated hydrocarbon, but with that my bromine concentration from this is getting less. Thus, my bromine water which was red, it will decolorize because the bromine concentration will go off. The bromine will be used to make unsaturated hydrocarbon saturated. Correct? Example this when bromine is added to unsaturated hydrocarbon, this is let's suppose unsaturated. Right, and uh, if you see, this is let's suppose transparent color. The moment you add bromine, the color goes off. The color goes off, right? Because this this bromine, which is uh, which you can see, right? This bromine is used by this unsaturated to become saturated. But we don't use this. Why? Because see, we had some unsaturated hydrocarbon. If you add bromine in this the chemical property of this guy is changed. We don't want to change this guy, right? So what we do is we generally do other way around. We take this uh, bromine water here, which is orange in color. This is bromine water, which is a test kind of thing. So we can throw it also. And this is my compound, which I want to test. This is my unsaturated thing. And we drop like this. So with this, the volume increase. And this is my red earlier this becomes light red. Why? Because the bromine is used inside this and if you keep adding this, you'll find that the red color goes off, this becomes transparent after some time. Why? Because the bromine is used. You can use any of these. So to understand this is more easy because you have, you are adding this bromine color thing, right? The, the moment you add this goes off because the chlorine in this is used, used by this unsaturated thing to become saturated, but we can't use this because let's suppose we have one liter of 
unsaturated hydrocarbon we don't want to add the bromine in this and spoil this because the formula of this will change so what we do is we generally take a small amount of this in the beaker and we do other way around we have the bromine water and we keep adding on this and this this water is anyway used for test so it can be used for other test of this particular water right so it is used like that so we, that's why we say that my unsaturated hydrocarbon decolorized bromine water we never say that uh, I mean you can say both way but this is how we use so we have some bromine water in this case it was red in color it got light red then got transparent as you keep adding unsaturated hydrocarbon because this guy became saturated and the, these guys used my bromine the last property is substitution reaction so this if you see my saturated hydrocarbons I told was fairly unreactive and inert generally but but in presence of sunlight that is the catalyst here the chlorine is added to hydrocarbons very fast the reaction is very fast for example uh, and chlorine can replace hydrogen one by one this guy is called substitution reaction right because one type of atom or good type of atom replace the another so in this case chlorine is replacing hydrogen and this kind of replacement called substitution uh, reaction because chlorine is substitution hydrogen so the reaction is like this you have this methane in the presence uh, in the presence of sunlight i have written sunlight here this when you add chlorine as you come cs3 cl and scl and it keeps replacing right and by supplying more and more hydrogens you can replace all for example cs3 cl now you have right you can again add more chlorine to it this will become ch2 cl2 now you have ch2 cl2 you add more chlorine to this it will become ch cl3 now CaCl3 app, you add more chlorine to this, it becomes CaCl3. So you keep adding more chlorine, it will keep replacing hydrogens. Now as a question time, why is the conversion of ethanol to ethanoic is called ethanol to ethanoic acid is called oxidation reaction. So I have my ethanol, two, two carbons, ethanol. Then I have ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. Now the question is why it is called oxidation? Obviously it is oxidation because you see this guy is gaining oxygen. Right? So we are adding oxygen to ethanol to get ethanoic acid. And that's why it's called oxidation reaction. A mix, mixture of oxygen and ethane is burned for building. Can you tell why the mixture of ethane and air is not used? See, as I told, ethane is like this, triple bond, right? So, the, the reaction is like this, ethane, you burn with oxygen, you get carbon dioxide, water and heat. This is a reaction. But, there is a cash here. This guy is untouched. That means, more carbon percentage. It has more carbon percentage. If you burn this guy in normal air, you'll get shooty flame, SWT by flame, and low heat. Low heat because incomplete combustion will take place. If you burn this guy in pure oxygen, you'll get blue flame. And you'll also get more heat. So for welding, we generally need 3000 degrees Celsius to kind of temperature. And with this, when you burn in pure oxygen, you get more heat, you may get 3000 degrees Celsius temperature. And thus you can use for welding. If you use this guy in normal air, you'll get a shooty flame first thing, you'll waste your, uh, this guy, ethane, and you won't get much heat also because incomplete combustion will take place. So when you burn in places of pure oxygen, the pure, uh, the proper combustion will take place and you'll get blue flame and more heat. That is used for welding. Which of the following hydrocarbons will go addition reaction? As I told, addition reaction ha happens only for unsaturated guys. Correct. C2A6 is unsaturated. Tell me. No, it is saturated.
so this guy will not go c3 h8 saturated why because it follows the formula c on h2n plus 2 right 3 into 2 6 plus 2 8 so saturated c3 h6 it is unsaturated yes it will go for this addition reaction c2 h2 unsaturated yes ch4 again is saturated so only these two guys are unsaturated and they will go for addition reaction correct so the question is find the unsaturated hydrocarbons you can use the formula saturated has to be cn h2n plus 2 so others are unsaturated these three if you see follows that formula cn h2n plus 2 so they will not go for addition reaction so the question is what is the test we have to differentiate butter and cooking oil so in this case we know that my butter is saturated you get from hydrogenation and cooking oil is unsaturated so this question is nothing but how to chemically differentiate saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon very simple i have bromine water test correct so i have bromine water i know that bromine water i'll put that to plus my unsaturated gives uh decolorize okay i have again bromine water plus saturated if you add saturated thing in this there is no reaction so i know my butter is saturated so i'll replace saturated with butter and my cooking oil is unsaturated i'll replace cooking oil with unsaturated now you can see that you add cooking uh, bromine water to cooking oil it will decolorize bromine water if you add bromine water to, to my butter it will have no reaction this is a way by using a chemical property using chemically we can differentiate butter and cooking okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again